Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening teacher. How are you? Yeah. Good evening, Hi. everybody. And good, good evening. evening. How are you, how are you doing today? Most amazing, teacher. Amazing. Yes. Nice. Did you do anything interesting today? Did you do anything interesting? Did you go somewhere? No? Nobody? No, no. Okay, what about the rest of you? How you been doing today? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi. So, um, well, I see that you don't want to speak today. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, it seems like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, teacher, uh, in my case, but um, I prepare my, my resume about my ex uh, labor experience. Uh, I prepare uh, about talking myself. Yes, when I have an interview. Okay, you are uh, uh, a practice, a practice, yes. Okay, you're practicing for with my mirror, with my mirror. Okay, excellent, very yeah. nice. Yes, it's good to do so. And uh, well, the last time you said that it was kind of difficult to understand, right? Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, my recommendation is don't think just listen because if you're thinking uh, it's like you are listening to people talking you listen to your talk and you're listening to the other person so it's it makes yeah. it harder for you so yes just try to get it right yes okay. and relax <laughs> yeah and what about the rest of you good evening everyone good evening reina how are you doing today You're doing good? Okay, so um, let me share my screen. So we're going. Oh, teacher, today I received a message from, from English Corporativo to mm -hmm. check my, my document. Oh, okay. They that... are checking my, my, they are checking my, my document and in my, my information. Okay, nice. Nice that they are um, doing so. Maybe we will start the next course very soon. And yes, I know that you've been working on that. And they also, I think that they said that you might mm -hmm. check if you, uh, if you were able to download the certificates. And there is some yeah. people that is not able to do so. Hay algunos que no pueden ver su certificado o cómo descargarlos. Entonces eso... Eh, lo voy a reportar mañana porque sí, yo me acordaba que era como ustedes me dijeron, ir a yeah. Progress y luego ahí le sale ver certificado o descargarlo. Sí. Pero hay quienes no les está mostrando esa opción, aunque lo hagan desde la computadora o del celular. Entonces yeah. tenemos que ver eso. So that's nice. Check on your documents, check on your certificates. Please check the dates. Eh, le cambiaron la fecha, Walter. Me dijo que le había salido con fecha del 2019. Yes, but uh, I report again. No change yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but you have already reported it. And yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Anything else that you would like to add? Okay, so please keep on checking on that. And remember, we are about to finish. We are just uh, five classes away. I think it's- Sure, yes, uh, five classes this, this week is the last. Next week, Tuesday. Oh, okay, uh -huh. missing one week. Yes, so, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. So I think uh, uh -huh. this week uh, uh, was the last the, one. The, yes, yes, I think. Yeah, we still have classes Monday and Tuesday next week. On Monday, we're going to go over the final exam. And uh, on Tuesday, we're going to make a review. So okay. I would like for you to tell me which topics you like to review, right? The ones that you think that you need more practice on. And um, let me know. You can write on the group, on the WhatsApp group, or you can tell me if you have any idea right now. I prepared yes. a presentation on. Yes, Walter. So, uh, so I do, and neither. Either is a good topic, but I need more practice. Okay, cool. So mm -hmm. we're going to practice that one. Okay, now we have the video and questions with how. I know that there is an exercise on the platform uh, about questions with how, and some people got some troubles on. Um, making that, that exercise. Oh my God, this is really slow today. I, I don't know, but it, it gets like in these conditions oh, before I finish every course, it's almost the same. That's crazy. It's so slow. <laughs> okay, I love it one moment. This is- Teacher, teacher, slow. repeat again the tongue twister. Oh, yesterday's tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that I think Anna sent one tongue twister and I, I like that one too. Let me check here. Uh, ah, Betty. Betty bought a bit of butter. Uh, that one is really <laughs> difficult. <laughs> Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought a better butter oh and it was God. better than the butter Betty bought before. <laughs> oh I like that one too. But yeah. Teacher, mm -hmm. teacher uh, how do you say Travalenguas in English? Thong, thong, thong? twister. Uh -huh. Twister. Yeah, yellow. Twister. Yes, I'm going to write okay, it please, on please the write. chat. Okay. Tongue twister. Tongue twister. Okay, there you go. Tongue, um, okay. Okay, so we saw this one and now Questions of choice. This was just our distance and measurement. And then we got the questions with how. This is the one that we're missing. Share sound and let's watch the video. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. 
We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big. Big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Okay, so this is what we already um, saw in the video. Well, in this grammar chart, we just have the questions with how, and then the adjective, depending on what we want to ask. If it is distance, we ask using how, and the adjective far. If we want to ask about a, a measurement, it can be how big, or how high, how deep, how long, right? And this one, the other two are uh, when we want to ask about weather, how hot or how cold, right? So mm, this is not like too complicated, but if you have any question about this. Teacher, I que no podemos utilizar el how many, how many kilometers have the Salvador, for example, Yes, you can use that one as well because we can count the kilometers. So you can see how many kilometers are from San Salvador to San Miguel. Ah, uh -huh. ah okay. Yes, you can use that one. I have a question about the meaning. What is the meaning the word deep and the word measure, measurement? Uh, measurement son medidas and deep is profundo. Thank you. Okay. Any other question? Okay. So we're going to move on to the next slide. And uh, yes, we have to write questions to these answers. For example, if we ask, Niagara Falls is the answer. Niagara Falls is 52 meters or 170 feet high. What would be the question? Si la respuesta fue esta, so what is the question? How high? How high? How high is, is Niagara Falls? The Niagara Falls, yes, excellent. Now, if we say California is about 4,3970 square kilometers. How long? How oh, far? Mm -hmm. How oh, far? Uh -huh, but it says square kilometers, kilometers cuadrados. Mm -hmm. So I think that is not how far. How long? Did you... uh, how long? Um, how maybe big? how long? How big? Uh huh. How, how big? big? Yeah. How big? How because big? It refers to big. How big? <laughs> how big? The next okay. one is how long? 
Okay, so for number two, it would be how big is California, right? Um, now, number three, the nav is 6,000. How long is the room? Yes, how long is how the four is, is how the far? Okay, Osaka is about 400 kilometers from Tokyo. How far? Yes, that can be how far is Osaka from Tokyo? From Tokyo. Okay, good. No, uh, number could be, five. Could be, could be, teacher. How many kilometers there are between Osaka from Tokyo? From Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but there's only one thing. It's only one thing that you would need to change uh, the order. Okay. Uh huh. Can you repeat it? How many kilometers there are? Mm -mm. There is. Mm -mm. How are many between. Are between. No. No. Repeat it again. How many kilometers is there? Are there? Are there, there, are are there, there between? Uh -huh. are there. Between? Between? Uh, between uh, Osaka from? Yes, from Osaka, from to, Osaka Tokyo. to Tokyo. Uh -huh. Remember okay. that this first question, that excellent, Walter. Muy bien. Okay. Porque como que nos, there are es cuando estamos haciendo una sentence. Pero si estamos ah, haciendo sí. una pregunta, cambiémosle. Are there? O is there? Depend. Right? Yes. Great. Excellent job. Now, uh, number five. How hot? Yes, how hot? How hot is Mexico City in the spring? How hot is Mexico City in the spring? Excellent, awesome job. Spring. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here you can say the uh, California. A big is California. Okay, so those are the answers and some other possibilities that you expressed in the class were correct as well. Um, so with this, we finish the section number four. Now in section number five, it says the topic, I'm going to a soccer match. Okay, so let's see. We have this chart snapshot, making excuses. Some common excuses for not accepting an invitation. We have one here. Um, I can't, I have to wash my hair. Mm -hmm. Can you read, um, let's see, I, what is this thing that I need to, okay. I stamped and then this one. Okay, uh, can you help me with the first one, Milton? What, teacher? Can you read the first one here? I'm busy the night. Thank you, Ricardo, continue. I can't find a baby sister. Okay, Glenda. I have no I'm not feeling well. Okay, thank you, Walter. I have to work then. Very good, Reina. My parents are visiting from out of town. Town, okay, good. Oh. Um, Heidi, can you help us with, I have? Okay, teacher, I had class that night. Okay, good. Una, no, sé por qué. <laughs> no worries, that's fine. Voy apresurada con todo. <laughs> Tia Messis. I need to stay home with my name, Poppy. Okay, good. Ana? Ana Trinidad? My favorite TV show is in 
that night. Okay, it's on that night. Uh, Ibis. I have to get out early the next morning. Okay, good. Now, have you ever used one or any of these excuses? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yes. others, and at others. I, I have English class that, that night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I have English my class. My teacher is calling me if I, I, I don't attend a class with you. <laughs> okay, any other? I think, yes, I have used some of them, but not all, right? Because uh, for me, this one is kind of crazy. I need to stay home with my new pop. <laughs> Okay, uh, so, but the rest of them, yes, I think I, I have used all of them. Now, uh, someone is trying to say something. <laughs> Sound. <laughs> Sounds like a robot, though. Yes. Uh, the, yeah, it can be the internet is not good enough. Now, um, now check the good excuses. Which ones do you think are good excuses? Uh, if you say I'm busy that night, do you think it's a good excuse? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. I can't find a babysitter. Yes. No. I'm not feeling well. Yes. Yes. I have to work then. Yes. yes. Yeah. I have class that night. Yes. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> My parents are visiting me from our town. Yes. Mm. No. Mm. Yes. Okay. Some people say yes. Some others no. I think uh, yes. Uh, I agree. Uh, I need to stay home with my new puppy. No. Ridiculous. No. <laughs> that is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I broke my nails. <laughs> yes. My favorite TV show is on that night. No. No. No, no right. Um, I have to get up early the next morning. Yeah. Yes. yes. That is a yeah. good one. Okay. Now, what other excuses can you make for not accepting an invitation? My car is broken. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good one, Ricardo. Yes. My car is broken. Okay, good. Another one? I have class that night, teacher. Okay. Uh something okay. Any uh -huh. other one? I I take her uh -huh. my grandma. Um Okay, <laughs> you need to take care of your grandma. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Yes. Um, another? I am sick. I, I am sick. <laughs> okay. I need to go to the doctor. I need to go to the doctor. Okay, good. Uh, I, I get uh, uh, COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very <laughs> good <laughs> Yeah. Any other? Okay, so let's continue. Now we have a conversation here, it's making plans. Okay, we are going to listen to the um, 
recording on the video. Let's check the platform. And then we're going to practice that conversation. Yes, let me share my screen. I think I had signed into the platform. But yes, here it is. Okay. Uh, so let's move to section number five. Making plans. Here is the conversation. Teacher, el certificado no desaparece de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ese lo podemos descargar en cualquier momento. Le aconsejo que lo haga cuanto antes, porque si la plataforma, después que terminamos el módulo... Hi, ready. Espérenme que le voy a dar pausa aquí. Después de que terminamos el módulo, la plataforma queda habilitada por algún tiempo, pero luego la cierran y ya no puede entrar ni con sus credenciales. Del módulo pasado, todavía lo puedo descargar porque no lo, no lo he descargado. Tiene que no intentar. la verdad. Sí, porque hasta donde yo sé, sí... Si tiene cierto tiempo en el que ya después ya no puede accesar a los cursos anteriores, pero pruebe y si no, pues este lo reporta. Lo ideal es de que lo, lo descarguen al, al, a la oportunidad, ¿verdad? Eh, porque si sí, hasta donde yo sé, cierran los accesos a, la, a los cursos previos. ¿Y los, los suben cuánto tiempo después de haber terminado el, el módulo, el curso? Por ejemplo, el del módulo pasado lo subieron cuando para estar pendiente también del de este módulo. El de este ya algunos ya lo descargaron, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, me, ajá, sí me estuvieron ayudando ahí con el con el pad. Sí, se van a progress, ahí le dieron clic, ¿verdad? Vieron las barritas y luego le Uh -huh. Ahí aparece get or view certificate or download the certificate. Ahí aparece. Bueno, voy a revisar. Ajá. Cosa. Sí, es, ajá, está en el grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, así estaba bien. Ajá, ahí thank entonces, you. ahí está. Ok. Ok, mi thank Ready you. to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, so this was the conversation. What are the two ways that you he, that you can see here that are being used to express future? I'm going to soccer. Okay, going to that is yeah. one. And going tonight. What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Do you remember how do we call those tenses? How do we call this tense? What are you doing tonight? It's a present progressive or present continuous. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. that is present continuous. Pero no estamos expresando una acción en progreso, ¿verdad? No. No. En futuro continuo. 
No, that's okay. Es presente continuo, ese tiempo. Eh, la pregunta, what are you doing tonight? Es presente uh -huh. continuo. Y lo estamos utilizando para expresar future. Uh -huh. Like, a, are you doing anything tomorrow? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are you doing, uh -huh. yes, are you doing anything tomorrow? Now, I'm going to a soccer match. Ese es, ¿qué tiempo? It's for future. the future. Means. It's future, future with going to. Uh -huh. So we are using, estamos utilizando present continuous para expresar futuro y también el going to. Luego vamos a ver eh, cuál es la diferencia entre ellos y como la estructura para hacer un pequeño repaso después que hayamos practicado la conversación. Eh, do you have any questions here on vocabulary? Yes. What is the meaning of the word? Mm, what is that one? Afterwards? Ling, ling, antepenultimo. Okay, afterward. Maybe we, we can get some dinner. Ajá, okay. es como decir más adelante o después de eso, afterwards. Y work until five significa estaré trabajando en, entre hasta, las cinco. Hasta. Hasta las cinco. Hasta las cinco, okay. until, yes. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No more questions? No, teacher. And the, the first word, uh, say, it, it, es como que si yo dijera, dime, Miguel, ¿qué harás ahora en la noche? Yes, that is okay. correct. Mm -hmm. Say, yes, cabal. Ah, uh, decime o contame. Say. Okay, so I'm going to create a breakout room so you can practice the conversation with your classmates. So let's get ready here. Okay. Vaya. Sí, se logra ver. Uh, yes. Sí. Ok. Mm, Comenzamos entonces. Ok. ¿Quién se me une para saber con quién vamos a trabajar? Yo. Yo. Ibis. Uh -huh. Ok. Hey Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. 
Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Uh, we, could, we could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work on to five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work, maybe, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, uh, Alfredo. Hi. Somewhere. Okay, I'm Miguel. Michael. Okay. Say, say, Miguel, what are you, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to do what, to go, believe? I'd love it. I love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe come other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call go them. Tomorrow, so I'm fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. After work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sound great. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, um empiezo yo con conmigo. Uh -huh. yes. Say say Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Continue. Do you want? Uh, do you want to go to bowling? <laughs> yes. I'd love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Sounds great. Okay, very good. Then you can practice with your um classmates. Yeah, maybe um, Mauricio with Evis, Glenda with Alfredo, and so on. También pueden intercambiar. Okay, um, I am Lynn. Uh, Evie, Evie's. Okay. Okay. Say Evie's, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some another time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow soon fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, thanks. Thanks. I am Lynn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? Alfredo? I love, I love to. But can I go to soccer match with my brother? Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call with them. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sound great. Thank you. Yeah, sounds You're great. <laughs> sounds <laughs> great. Sounds great. Uh -huh, great. Okay. Sounds great. Great. Sounds great. 
Aha, uh -huh, you need great. to make sure to pronounce the T. Sounds great. Recording in progress. Sounds great. Are you mute, teacher? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, yes, I was telling you that um, we are about to uh, finish here. Um, yes. And uh, yes, we haven't um, been in the need of um, getting extra classes because of the recording. Yeah, we are recording all the classes so far. We are doing great. <laughs> yes. No. I was telling to the people we were before and practicing, when you say that word, make sure that you pronounce the T at the end. Great. Yeah, great. Great. Sounds great. Because if not, if you say gray, it sounds like the color and it's a yeah. very sad color. <laughs> sounds gray. It will be, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I thought it was a fantastic plan. <laughs> okay, so yeah, make sure that pronounce the T at the end. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, do uh, you have any questions about this? This one is easier than yesterday's conversation, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, about this, we were talking about the future with present continuous and be going to. We have a video with explanation in regards of this topic. We're going to watch the video and then we're going to reinforce what's on the video and exercise a little bit more. It's here. Okay. The future. Okay. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we list stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101, exercise three, grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to with present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus a verb, plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, 
You may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus B plus subject plus verb plus ING plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Okay, so that was the... Um, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, uh, clear, uh, clear and loud. <laughs> yes, I saw a message here and it says, your internet connection is unstable. And I said, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, but we continue recording. That's nice. Now, um, the future with present continuous and be going to any question about that? Uh, teacher, o sea, que yo puedo decir lo mismo con las dos estructuras. Yes. Uh, in some cases, uh, well, most of the time, yes, you can go ahead and do it. But if we are predicting for predictions, you we we don't use the present continuous. Si so si vamos a hacer como predicciones, no se usa el present continuous, mm -hmm. sino que se pone going to. Por ejemplo, en la primera oración dice, what are you doing tonight? Usando el present continuous. Uh -huh. Y si yo lo uso usando esa misma, el mismo verbo y la expresión de tiempo, tonight podría ser, what is, uh, what, uh, what, um, what are you, por ejemplo? Yes, what are you, what going, are you going, what are you going to do tonight? Excellent. Uh -huh. You can do, use either or what are you doing tonight or what are you going to do tonight. Yes, and eso okay. so pueden usar las dos. Eh, okay. El caso donde no podemos usar present continuous es para hacer una predicción en el futuro. Mm -hmm. eh, por ejemplo, decir, ah, va a llover mañana. Mm -hmm. It is going to be raining tomorrow. Eso está incorrecto. So I can say it's going to rain tomorrow. Si estoy hablando de una predicción, voy a usar going to. No present continuous. Para lo otro puede ser might o may. Yes, we can okay. use those if we are expressing a prediction or okay. yes. In the future. Y a ese auxiliar son para future, right? Okay. Any other a mí me llama, ¿Sí? A mí, teacher, me llama bastante la atención. Nos, veo que solamente se utilizan los pronombres I, you, he, she. En, con we, eh, we, they, no se utilizan. O solo lo hacen por, por acortar la explicación. Y es eh, igual para todo. Sí, ajá. Por ejemplo, digamos nosotros... Um, Yo quiero saber a qué horas nos vamos a reunir mañana. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces seríamos nosotros, me incluyo yo. So I can say, uh, what time? Como quiero saber la hora, voy a usar what time. Uh -huh. What time uh -huh. are we going to meet tomorrow? ¿A qué horas nos vamos a, a reunir mañana? What time are we going 
to meet tomorrow. And you say, ah, we are going to meet at nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yes, uh, we, we can use them. And yes. yes. Utilizando el, el doing, sería what time are we doing? Doing... Um, um, Doing meeting tomorrow. Mm. se podría utilizar ahí? Let's see if oh, wait. Vamos a escribirles. So, uh, con el going to, es what, what time. Are we going to meet tomorrow? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What time are we going to meet tomorrow? Y si es con present continuous, entonces no usamos este. Utilizamos el, doing. Uh, meet, el verbo sería meet, de, de reunirnos. So, uh -huh. sería what time are we, según Meeting. estaba escribiendo con todo. <laughs> what time are we meeting? ¿Por qué me deja de escribir? Miren, tomorrow. No le escribí otra vez. Qué raro. What? Miren, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Es que creo que el cable está tocando aquí. Por mm. eso odio a este, pero el otro se descarga bien rápido. What time are we meeting tomorrow? Ok, so, este lo estamos haciendo con el going to. Cuando expresamos future es así, going to, y luego el verbo en forma simple, porque el going to es, es, es el, el auxiliar aquí que está expresando el futuro. What time are we going to meet tomorrow? Pero si lo hago con present continuous, siempre nos vamos con el be, y luego al verbo con ing y no voy a poner going. ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. Así, sino, sino que voy a ponerle ing al verbo de la, al verbo principal. En este caso es meet, meeting. Uh -huh. What time are we meeting tomorrow? Y si el verbo, oh, yeah. pues necesito que sea go, pues entonces eh, igual. Um, Sí, le, le quiero preguntar, uh, ¿dónde, uh, ¿dónde irás mañana? Con present continuous sería, where are you going tomorrow? Pero ya no le pongo el to. Oh. A menos que haya otro verbo después. Uh -huh. eh, y si el... fuera con el, con el presente continuo, fuera, where are you going, going to go tomorrow? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other question? Yes, I have, I have other question. Teacher, um, yo tengo un poquito de confusión en, en el presente continuo eh, utilizando en el futuro. Por ejemplo, cuando yo digo, uh, what are you doing? Es, ¿qué estás haciendo? Pero si yo le agrego, what are you doing tomorrow? Es, ¿qué vas a hacer mañana? Exacto, muy buen punto David, cuando estamos utilizando el present continuous para expresar futuro, hay que agregar una time expression, time expression. porque ah, si okay. usted solo me dice, what are you doing, entonces le digo lo que estoy haciendo en el momento, porque entiendo que me está preguntando por ahorita, ¿qué estás haciendo? What are you doing? Entonces yo le puedo decir, I am teaching, I am talking to my students, ok, eso es lo que estoy haciendo en el momento. Pero si lo va a utilizar para futuro, sí necesita agregar una time expression. Una expresión de tiempo. ¿Para cuándo? Más tarde, esta noche, mañana por la mañana, mañana en la noche. Uh -huh. El próximo okay. semana, puede ser next week. Uh -huh. Could be past or just future? Uh, for future, yes. Okay, what, are you, what are you doing last night? En Don't ese apply. caso tenemos que pasar el to be a pasado también. Ese es past oh, okay. continuous. Yeah, yeah. ¿Qué estabas yeah. haciendo ayer? What, uh, what were you doing tomorrow? Ahí tenemos que ir jugando con el be en pasado. Was y where. Uh -huh. 
and that is past continuous. Any other question? No more questions? Say it now or be quiet forever. <coughs> no, teacher. No? Okay. No, teacher. So let me stop sharing this screen and let's continue here. Okay, so we have this exercise uh, we discussed here and we have some time expressions here, like for example, tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, next week. So right now we're going to complete this exercise. You can do it in your notebook. And then we're going to check. And finally, we're going to discuss our plans for weekend. What are you doing tonight? Are you doing
Okay, finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, so number one, volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. What are you, what are you doing to do tonight? Okay, what are you like going to, to do award? tonight? Okay, excellent. Very good, Reina. Uh, number two? Me, teacher. Okay, Maria. Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do yes. you want to see a movie? Excellent. That's the answer. Number three? Me. Okay, Ricardo. We having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Will you and your parents like to come? Oh, all right. Excellent. Nice. Number four, volunteer. It's me, Tisha. Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Excellent job, Jose. Thank you so much. Uh, letter B, answers. Uh, me, teacher, I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's write and go on Saturday. That's nice. Thank you so much. That's the answer. Letter B. Me, teacher. Okay. Well, my father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I were um, are and I are, be, are. are going to be uh -huh. home. Well, love to come. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Letter C. Me, teacher. Sorry, I can't. I am going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? Good job. Excellent. And finally, letter D. Letter D, volunteer. Me teacher, can we go? Can we go to a late show? I'm going to stay at the office till seven. Okay, excellent. That was the answer. So, uh, congratulations! Since you did a very nice job, we're going to stop here. I know that you are tired. That you've been having a hard day. You deserve to sleep well and to rest a lot. And <laughs> see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank teacher. you so much. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Okay. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.